Welcome to the world of Lassie, where heartwarming tales unfold with each episode. This iconic TV series from 1954 has captured the hearts of audiences for generations. But did you know there are many surprising, touching, and even humorous facts behind the scenes? Stick around, because we've got some gems to share that will keep you hooked. Have you ever experienced a moment where Lassie's adventures left a lasting impression on you? We'd love to hear your personal stories in the comments below. So sit back, relax, and get ready for a journey filled with laughter, tears, and unforgettable memories. Let's dive into the world of Lassie together. This TV series, known as Lassie, first aired in 1954 and was created by Robert W. Maxwell. It was aimed at families, especially those with younger kids. The show followed the adventures of a very smart dog, bringing in drama and lessons for everyone. The main character, played by different male collies, showed off impressive abilities. Some people felt the plots were forced, with slow parts and too much silence. The music was described as sentimental, matching the sometimes overly dramatic stories. One important character was Timmy, played by John Provost, who added charm to the show. However, some viewers found it odd that he often went off without proper adult supervision. The show's portrayal of Lassie's ability to communicate through barks and understanding sentences was unrealistic. However, fans appreciated the show's educational value. One episode, The Leash stood out for dealing with a friend's tragedy. Jan Clayton's role as Jeff's mother, Ellen, was praised for being realistic, making her one of TV's most memorable moms. Her advice and emotional scenes added depth to the show. Overall, Lassie is an important part of TV history, offering entertainment and lessons. While opinions on its pace and storytelling vary, Jan Clayton's portrayal of a guiding mother leaves a lasting impression. In the history of TV, there's a cool story about how they picked the kid for the famous 1954 show. They had three finalists, so they let Lassie, the dog star, choose. She went to Tommy, licked him, and that was that. After seven seasons, the actor playing Timmy, John Provost, decided to quit because he was tired of the role. When he left, they had to let go of all the human actors. Some people thought it was because Provost or the new star, Robert Bray, asked for too much money. But Provost didn't want to be stuck playing a kid forever. Even Mad Magazine made fun of the show with a spoof called Lizzie. It showed how big the show had become. In the world of classic TV, Lassie's story is full of interesting casting choices, people leaving, and even jokes in popular media. Robert Bray's departure from the series after four seasons marked the end of his acting career. Struggling with alcoholism, a statement was released, citing his exhaustion with the role as the reason. However, this move aimed to protect Bray's privacy. Subsequently, he never returned to the world of acting. A brief return to the series as Ben Adams was Andy Clyde's final performance, concluding his recurring role as Cully Wilson. Clyde, a comedy legend, made a one-shot appearance before bidding farewell to the screen. Tommy Riddig, at the age of 15, expressed his desire to leave the series after three seasons, no longer willing to portray a child. Simultaneously, Jan Clayton sought a return to musical theater. Timmy's addition to the cast initiated a gradual transition. However, the sudden death of George Cleveland expedited the shift to a new cast. In summary, Robert Bray's departure, Andy Clyde's final appearance, and the cast transition involving Tommy Reddig and Jan Clayton marked notable phases in the series' evolution. Lassie, a famous dog, found her start with owner and trainer Rudd Weatherwax living a notable 19-year life. In the TV series, a key figure emerged playing both the motherly role within the show and later portraying an adult version of Elizabeth Taylor's character from Lassie Come Home and the Son of Lassie. The original show featured the Miller family, with Tommy Reddick as Jeff, Jan Clayton as his mother Ellen, and George Cleveland as Gramps. The first two seasons won two consecutive Emmy Awards for Best Primetime Children's Show. However, as Reddick outgrew his role, he voluntarily left leading to Timmy and his adoptive parents, the Martins, joining the series. The show's quality declined in the third season under new producers and the shift to the Martins. Despite this, Lassie's acting talent, embodied by the dog pal Jr., remained crucial. Rudd Weatherwax, with his dog's pal and pal Jr., showcased excellent acting chemistry, shaping Lassie's lasting impact. While the show faced challenges with the change in cast and production, Lassie's popularity and acting skills, especially in celebrated Christmas episodes, kept it going strong. 
Lassie, an iconic television series that aired in the United States during prime time, was notable for maintaining its time slot and day of the week throughout its entire run. It transitioned to syndication for the final three years of its broadcast. The distinctive whistle theme, synonymous with the show, was introduced in the fifth season, while the initial four seasons featured a more traditional orchestral theme. Tommy Reddick, who had previously performed alongside Mary Martin in Annie Get Your Gun, was originally slated for stage roles like Peter Pan and The Member of the Wedding. However, upon Brandon DeWilder's rejection, Tommy's mother directed him towards a career in films, ultimately leading him to secure a role in Lassie. This series holds a significant place in television history for its consistent scheduling and memorable theme music alongside the notable casting decisions that shaped its trajectory. In the TV series, the role of Lassie was first portrayed by Pal. Pal, the original Lassie, appeared in the pilot episode. He was succeeded by his grandson, Baby, who played the role for six years, making him the longest-serving Lassie. Unfortunately, Baby passed away at the age of eight, making him the only Lassie to not live to the age of 17. During John Provost's tenure as the lead actor, earlier episodes starring Tommy Reddick were aired in daytime TV under the title Jeff's Collie. Similarly, when Provost left the series, his episodes were syndicated as Timmy and Lassie. Best remembered for her role as Timmy's mother on the TV series Lassie, she also starred as Maureen Robinson in Lost in Space. In 2009, the U.S. Postal Service issued a pane of 2044 cent commemorative postage stamps honoring early SA television programs, with one featuring the canine star of Lassie. Other shows honored included The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, Alfred Hitchcock Presents, and I Love Lucy. While filming The 5,000 Fingers of Dr. T, she met dog trainer Frank Weatherwax, whose brother Rudd had acquired the rights to Lassie from MGM for a TV series. After auditions, Tommy won the role of Jeff and a contract at two $500 a week. Timmy, a character in the TV series, was named after producer Benita Granville's mother, Timmy. Despite many spoofs and misquotes, Timmy never required saving from falling down a well throughout the show's history. Ruth Martin was replaced by another actress, Cloris Leachman, at the beginning of the fifth season because Leachman was unhappy with her role. In the 1950s, a TV series called Lassie faced some big issues behind the scenes. One actor, Cloris Leachman, wasn't happy with her role and often clashed with the rest of the cast and crew. Eventually, both Leachman and John Shippard were replaced by June Lockhart and Hugh Riley. In the USA, the annual airing of The Wizard of Oz on CBS regularly knocked Lassie off the air on Sunday evenings from 1959 to 1967. Interestingly, all the dogs playing the main character were actually male. They chose male dogs because female collies tend to shed a lot during their heat cycles. Also, using male dogs was thought to make the character look more imposing on screen. Despite these challenges, the show remains an important part of TV history.